Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're making a Bronx. The Bronx cocktail, like many pre provisioned cocktails, has uh, an uncertain history. No one really knows the real story behind it. Uh, I've managed to read two that were the most talked about. So one didn't have much detail into it. It was just about two bartenders from the Bronx who created this drink. The second one tells us the tale of John Stolen, a bartender from the Waldorf Astoria Hotel in New York. Uh, once he was challenged by a client to create something new. The client said he couldn't create something new. And the challenge accepted, did it. Did this drink with some gin, orange juice, Italian vermouth, French vermouth, he mixed all together. He gave it to the head bartender to try it, who finished it in one sip. He really liked the cocktail and just sold it like crazy. And then the Bronx cocktail was born, but still without a name. So now Johnny had to come up with a name for the cocktail. And he had been in the Bronx Zoo a few days before, and that's what inspired the name for the cocktail. A zoo. A zoo. The Bronx Zoo. Okay. Okay. It said that clients were coming and telling stories about new things that they have never seen. So as the cocktail was something that the client had never seen, it was matching what they were seeing at the Bronx Zoo, so that's what inspired it. So before we go to the cocktail, there's two things we need to do. First, get two cocktail glasses or coupettes, whatever you're using, chilling, even with ice or put it in the freezer. The second thing, it's explaining why am I doing this cocktail. So this was the very first cocktail I've ever learned how to do. I was 15, I, uh, I didn't know anything about bartending, cocktails or whatsoever in this industry. I didn't know I wanted to become a bartender. I had no clue of anything. But this is the very first cocktail I learned in the first, not probably not the first bar class that I had, but uh, it was the first cocktail that I've ever learned and tasted. And uh, I can prove it to you. I found my very first cocktail notebook. And the first you had the hardcover, and there you go. The Bronx is in there. See? Also, uh, this recipe, I have no clue the origin of this recipe i think it's iba this is meant to be served in the small martini glass so those with uh, three ounces so they have around 10 9 10 centiliters they're very small and uh, i actually want to try this and i want to compare to the one that i would be serving i would be serving uh, nowadays you find many recipes but uh, yeah these are the two that i want to to give it a try okay so let's go so get a small coupe or martini glass shield and we're building it in a shaker. Uh, we start with three centiliters of gin. Three. One and a half of red vermouth. One of dragon with and orange juice, fresh orange juice, one and a half as well. So in this cocktail, normally you'd use fresh orange juice, but if you do it, go for sweet oranges. Otherwise, it's gonna be very, very, very bitter and not that good. So yeah, do that. Also, when I learned how to mix drinks, firstly, uh, we were using. Uh, we are only using four to five pieces of ice, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna do as I learned. So, got two, four small pieces of ice. All right, and we give it a good. shield glass and let's find strain it into it. No garnish into it and this is uh, the Bronx that I've never first learned how to do. Now let's go for the second, the grown-ups Bronx. <laughs> let's go like that. Now 
you need a shaker and I'll start with the orange juice and go a full ounce of it. Go for the gin and do an ounce and a half, so 45 mils. Sweet vermouth of 50 mils. And three quarters of 20 mils of this. Of this. <laughs> Red vermouth. We add ice and shake. The two different broths. Now let's give them a try. It's quite sweet compared to what you might expect from a Bronx um, but it's very nice it's so super light it's a very short amount of gin as well uh, equal parts with the orange juice so it's super light slightly sweeter than uh, I actually expected let's go for the Bronx that I would actually serve now mm. I definitely prefer this one uh, stronger with the gin, which pairs perfectly with this uh, fresh orange juice as I choose uh, citrus notes gin. Uh, I prefer the mix of the vermouths on this one, it's not equal parts. Well, not, neither of them are equal parts, but sometimes you find that in some recipes. But I prefer the, the ratios also on this one. The mix of the vermouth brings some depth and also some texture to the cocktail, which is brilliant and it works amazing with the fresh orange juice and the gin. This one, I think, for me, this one's better. Try them both, you should compare. We're done for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will try your Bronx cocktail. And um, don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't yet for more cocktails and recipes. And I uh, will see you next time. Cheers.